So it's time to put a new bar and chain on this thing. I've had this one on here for a pretty good while. I marked the date on it when I put them on. I actually caught the tip on this one. It basically was just about done when I hit the tip on it the other day. Show y'all how this thing works. You pull that release down right there and that release the bar. There's a bleed screw right there. You gotta loosen up too. Then you pull it down out of the box. The bar is bent pretty bad too, it bent. Caught the tip on it down here. Chain is shot. So yeah, 404 pitch chain, see where it's where it bent it right there on the chain too. So the date on this bar is 4-13-17 that we scribed on it right there. So it's been on almost four years. Actually the tip's still okay in it, in that bar. Their chain's bent. I'm gonna put a new one on it too.
Put our chain on there. All right, so moving on to bigger and better things. Tonight's little project, we're going to take out all the decomp valves on my saws. And we're going to change every one of them out. We're going to put a, a plug in them. So we're going to do away with the decomp valve. You ask why are you going to do that? Well, that is a natural air leak right there when the saw is running. So I'm going to get maximum efficiency out of it by removing it and putting this plug in it right there that you see 13 millimeter fits it So that's it. That's what it looks like. That's with it out. You can see it on the camera. And that's with it in. So when it seals, when it goes out like that, it don't seal perfectly. Take this plug. And screw it right back in and that will solve that problem. got to get them just right or they will not go back on. I have time. I forget to turn a, to hit the decomp on them anyhow. Several more to go. My ratchet is stripped. Fine quality snap on. It's crap a bit. So we'll go get a crapsman. We'll use it. Huskies, they're about the same. Actually, the only difference is it looks like on the Huskies, you look got a little bit more mushroom on it right there than the steel does. 
but they work the same way. See, that's decomp. That's full compression. Plug's exactly the same. So same plug fits the steel, fits the Husqvarna, all of them. There's no difference between them. This is the 500 now. Well, it may be real fun to try to start right there the way this recess down in there. Now we'll see. Golly. Dang it, boy. Still wants to make sure that thing is tight. Let me do this. Same thing. Okay. I can start it. That worked pretty good. Now we got the little 261. Why they put a decon on a 261, I have no idea because it's just a 50cc saw. The Hus one is a 550XP Mark II, which is a 50cc saw. It does not have a decon button on it. But they put one on this one. Judging by the other two steels, how tight they were, I'm gonna go ahead and get on this one with the 3 8 ratchet. That one as tight as the other ones. Well, it's 
same thing. So here's four. Four of them. We got three steels. Three steels. And the one has one. There. So they're saying, actually, the plug is going to be a little bit shorter, especially if you push that down right there. That's all of them that I'll be doing tonight. You can get those plugs. These came from H&L Supply. You can get them off Amazon too, but you just get on there and look for decompression plugs and you'll find them.